out of trouble. One hears it's broken in. Hail. They call this place the Middens because it's where all the refuse ends up. We clear them out now and again, but they always come back. And I spoke with someone I trust. She's definitely here. We should get capture her, bring her in for questioning. Find proof she's behind this so Prince Naaman doesn't explode with outrage. <laughs> Never thought I'd hunt a high elf ambassador. Smugglers, schooner addicts, and more than a few criminals. They keep to themselves, but sometimes they band together to repel outsiders. Kind of like a filthier version of the Dominion. Our goal is to find Ambassador Tarinwe before she buys passage out of Grotwood. Staying in the shadows, avoiding unnecessary conflict, that's what I'd do. But there's a lot of ground to search. I'll follow your lead. See the world, he said. <laughs> what a joke. Finally, some meat! I don't even care where it came from anymore. Let me go.
enjoy what we have to offer. Send someone to the embassy. We had assurance. How can we make him our puppet? We can't control him. Prince Naaman sends someone to the embassy. We have to leave before that is Prince Naaman? On your feet. You're coming with me. Why? Where are you taking me? To King Kamor and Eridan, where you'll answer for crimes against the Dominion. You'll have me killed and served for dinner. Only if you're proven guilty. And if you are, none of us could stomach you. Now get moving! Good working with you! I'll take her from here. You should inform the king of the good news.
How do you know? Were you there? I heard she had nothing to do with it. Hello there. You've returned. What have you learned of the Khajiit Embassy? Oh, good. Nothing I enjoy more than talk of conspiracy. Did the Ambassador have a manifesto? They usually have manifestos. No matter. I trust you resolved it. Splendid. I'll allow you the honor of informing Prince Naaman. Why not tell him the duly selected High Elf Ambassador was working against the very Dominion she pledged to support? I'll sit in my throne and try not to gloat. Did you know your entire future is mapped out in the stars? One must own... I heard what you said to the King. Ambassador Tarinwe, a traitor, my wife's killer, a loyal servant, and I, Queen Irene's representative in Elden Root, required to thank you for your efforts. Very well. I'll provide no reason to question my duty to the Dominion. We'll interrogate Ambassador Tarinwe until we know the extent of her treason. Then she'll die, as all traitors must. But uh, no matter. Your efficiency in resolving this matter was commendable, and the Dominion rewards its servants. <laughs> Ambassador Tarinwe's betrayal could not have been more absolute. She knew the details of the ratification ceremony, which puts Queen Irene at risk. It's my sister's own fault. She thought to appease the Sylvanar and the Main by agreeing to this foolish process. The ratification ceremony ends with the Orrery, an ancient device beneath Elden Root. It will divine Queen Irene's capacity to become Empress, or some such. But Ambassador Tarinwe assisted in the preparations. I must assume she tried to sabotage the proceedings. Doing so would make Queen Irene look weak. No, we must proceed. You've proven your competence, so I'll ask you to speak with Melaras. He's an expert on the orrery and knows what must be done. Quite pleasant, once you grow accustomed to the smell. The preparations for this ratification ceremony seem endless, but I'm up to the task. She asked how she could prove herself their rightful leader. The Sylvanar suggested the orrery nonsense, and the main agreed. Of course, neither will be present to see it, yet my sister is held to her pledge. How unexpected political excuses are impossible to discern. I know the main will not be present, and that's all I care to know. As for the Sylvanar, he died on Kanathi's roost. Thought he could negotiate with the filthy sea elves. King Camoran Eridan. It's beneath his city, so there's no turning him away. And myself, of course. Please don't mind Prince Naaman. Ambassador Tarinwe's betrayal is a shock to us all. But no matter, the orrery must work flawlessly for the Queen. That's what we will ensure. Enough to be of service. The orrery hasn't functioned as intended for ages. 
We planned to use some rather delicate magic to trick it into operation. But if Prince Naaman believes there was sabotage, we must look to an alternative method. Why, we'll look to the past! According to legend, the orrery required a skilled operator, an alien source of power, and a divine spark before it would function. Without all three, it won't do anything but spin. Quite pretty, but not very useful. I've researched this a bit. Really, you need to be in three places at once. Simple, right? But the fallen SD winter site is rumored to hold a relic of the Khajiiti thief god. For our purposes, Rajin's mantle will serve as the divine spark, if it's truly there, of course. The heart of Anumeril originally brought life to the orrery, according to the text. It long ago went missing, but a member of the local mages' guild named Laranalda theorizes it's in a local alien ruin. She's currently at the Reliquary of Stars, seeking the heart of Anumeril. Wonderful! Have anything you find sent directly to the orrery. Once everything is in place, we can begin the ratification ceremony. And do refrain from referring to Conservator Darineth as a missing element.